Calculating nanomolar DNA concentrations from samples whose concentrations are known in nanograms per microliter is a common task in molecular biology labs because methods to determine DNA concentration report values in nanograms per microliter and many uses require knowing the concentration in nanomolar. The calculation is not complicated but does involve many steps. I'll use an example question to demonstrate the process. In the example, I start with a 1,200 base long template at a concentration of 65 nanograms per microliter. The objective is to make 25 microliters of a 10 nanomolar solution. There are two steps in the process. First, convert the starting sample concentration to nanomolar from the nanograms per microliter given. Once the concentration is in nanomolar, the dilution needed can be calculated. Of course, this only works if the desired concentration is more dilute than the sample starting concentration. To step into the first part, I'll write down all of the information I need to solve it. The concentration of the starting solution is 65 nanograms per microliter. The DNA has a length of 1,200 bases. To convert from a mass to a molar concentration, I need a molecular mass for the DNA template. To calculate the molecular mass, I'll assume that one mole of a pair of nucleotide bases has a mass of 660 grams. If this is the mass of a single base pair, the mass of a mole of the sample DNA is 660 grams times the number of base pairs. 660 times 1,200 equals 792,000. This is the molecular weight of the sample. Other conversion factors I'll use are 1 liter equals 1 times 10 to the 6 microliters. 1 gram equals 1 times 10 to the 9 nanograms. 1 nanomolar equals 1 times 10 to the negative 9 molar. At one point in the process, I will have the units moles per liter, and this can be converted directly to molar. Armed with this information, here is step one. Convert from nanograms per microliter to nanomolar. The flow of unit conversions will be starting with nanograms per microliter, convert to grams per microliter, then to moles per microliter, then to moles per liter, a mole per liter is molar, and then convert molar to nanomolar. This checklist will help keep track of the process. Starting with 65 nanograms per microliter, multiply by the grams per nanogram conversion factor. This is 65 times 1 times 10 to the 9. This is a very small number. Writing it in scientific notation gives 6.5 times 10 to the negative 8. Tracking units, the nanograms cancel and the units become grams per microliter. Next, use the molecular mass to convert from grams to moles. One mole of the template equals 792,000 grams. 6.5 times 10 to the negative 8 divided by 792,000 is 8.207 times 10 to the negative 14. The grams cancel, resulting in the third unit in the flow, moles per microliter. Next, use liter per microliter conversion factor. 8.207 times 10 to the negative 14 times 1 times 10 to the 6 in scientific notation is 8.207 times 10 to the negative 8. The microliters cancel, leaving moles per liter. Moles per liter is the same as molar, so we can just rewrite this as 8.207 times 10 to the negative 8 molar. The final conversion will produce the desired unit. 1 nanomolar is 1 times 10 to the negative 9 molar. Dividing by 1 times 10 to the negative 9 is 82.07 nanomolar. This is the end of the first step. There is a shortcut. The same value can be arrived at by multiplying the nanogram per microliter value by 1 times 10 to the 6, then dividing by the length of the DNA times 660. From here, all I need to do is determine the dilution needed. 
I'll use the formula C1 V1 equals C2 V2, where C1 is the initial concentration of 82.07 nanomolar. V1 is the unknown sample volume needed. I will call that X. C2 is the target concentration, and V2 is the target volume. These last two were given in the problem. Target concentration is 10 nanomolar. Target volume is 25 microliters. Solving the equation for the unknown gives V1 equals C2 V2 divided by C1. Plugging in the numbers, 10 nanomolar times 25 microliters divided by 82.07 nanomolar. Set up this way, the nanomolar units cancel and the resulting unit is microliters. Doing the math, 10 times 25 divided by 82.07 equals 3.05. This is the volume of the initial sample required to make 25 microliters of a 10 nanomolar solution. I get to the final volume of 25 microliters by adding buffer to the 3.05 microliters of sample. The amount of buffer needed is 25 minus 3.05. This equals 21.95 microliters. So this is the dilution needed. 21.95 microliters of buffer combined with 3.05 microliters of the original 65 nanogram per microliter solution will give us what we want. These values can be checked using the calculator at sciencepimer.com. Entering 65 nanograms per microliter of a 1,200 base pair long DNA gives the same values I calculated earlier. An 82.07 nanomolar solution from which mixing 3.05 microliters of it with 21.95 microliters of buffer creates 25 microliters of a 10 nanomolar solution.